Let's take a look at one way to control object visibility when using the Arnold renderer. We'll start by defining a gradient map. So let's scroll down here and choose uh, Curve Float. Okay, we'll double click that and we're going to change the transition from cat ROM to linear. I'll add a point here and another one there. This one I want one-third of the way over, so I'll put its position at 0.33 with a value of 0, 0. And this one will put two-thirds of the way over with a value of 0 0.67 and, excuse me, a position of 0 0.67 and a value of 1. Let's see what that looks like. I'm going to assign that to this object here, so let's take the out from that and put it into the base color of that object and we see that what we get is one-third of the object is black, one-third white, and one-third a linear transition from black to white. So instead of assigning that as a diffuse color, let's go and assign it to our um, teapot. So I'm going to select the teapot. Let's take this and delete that and here is our teapot material, which is a standard surface material. We'll zoom in and we're going to connect this. I want to make sure you can read that. We're going to take the output of that and put it into the opacity map of that. Well, that doesn't look very good, so let's take this and modify it by adding a UVW map. And we have a planar map. And I'm going to change the size of the map's gizmo. So let's make it a little wider and a little bit really much longer than the object. So you can see it there. In addition, I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. I'd like it to, when it disappears, disappear from the top to the bottom. So I'm going to rotate that by 90 degrees. And now if we move the map, we can see that we're going to go from visible to invisible just by moving the UV map up and down. All right, so let's start with totally visible. We'll put auto key on and I'm going to come out to frame 25 and I'm going to set keys at frame 25, go out to frame 50 where we want it totally invisible and slide this down so it's totally invisible. And let's say we'd like it to reappear again, fade back up by frame 75. So we'll just ramp that up again. So as we scrub the timeline, we can see it fades out, goes totally invisible, fades back in again. If we would like to make this jump back into full visibility at one instant, what we could do is right click on the object, go to its dope sheet. Taking a look at the dope sheet, we're going to expand teapot Modify Object, UVW Map, Gizmo. We're moving the planar map in the Z direction. So that's what I'm concerned with here. At frame 50, let's take a look at those keys at frame 50. Holding down the Shift key, I'm going to drag those over to frame 74. And what I'd like to do is going back to frame 50, the Z position, we see that it's uh, we'd like to go out linearly. In the next frame at 74, we'd like to come in linearly, that is keep it totally invisible from frame 50 to 74. And at f frame 75, we'd like to jump in with a step function. So we can see in frame 74, we're jumping out step, jumping in step to the next frame, so that when we scrub this back, we see that we have it go from visibility, fading out, and then jumping back into visibility. Fade out, jump back into visibility. And really, that's all there is to it. Thank you.